Welcome back, my fellow humans. As you may or may not notice, I'm playing without my hands. I found out a way of playing without uh, the, the my hands. I'm playing with my feet, actually. So this whole gameplay would be that. Um, Streamlabs decided to cut me off. That it, I did not need a microphone. There's no need for commentary and commentary gameplay. Ha! Who needs that? Who needs a map, by the way? Um, so I'm going to be dubbing this recording. I hope the commentary is still enjoyable for you. Uh, this game I'm playing CC Bot Nico. The idea is to um, lock people down, like to stop them from escaping my team, since we have a lot of carries on our teams, like in, on our teams. So we have Yasuo, Master E, Ezro. All of them have a lot of damage. We also have a Cyan. Here I'm explaining exactly that. <laughs> we also have a sign that's probably going to bounce off route. If I'm not mistaken, I actually see him going lethality afterwards. So my guess was correct that he was also be going damage. So since we have a lot of damage, I decided to go a CC bot route, which will lock them in place for my team to uh, explode them and kill them. Uh, at the start here, my Ezra is AFK, so I'm da dancing in front of him. I like that when you're playing Nico, you can steal people's dance and emotes and taunts. That's awesome. Um, this build goes Glacial Augment. I cannot stress how perfect Hex Flash is. Heck, please, this, ah, especially at lower elos, this, this summoner spell is amazing. I go Biscuit because it's generally a, a safe rune and it scales well and it grants um, bonus max mana. Um, approach velocity, which is really good because you'll be CCing people a lot, but you still have to catch them with your ultimate. Um, I also go Nimbus, Nimbus Cloak because of Hex Flash, so I can um, gain bonus movement speed after a Hex Flash and get close to people with more ease. Um, and uh, Celerity, I think it's the name of that drone, which will increase the movement speed on my W and my Hex Flash. And any other sort of uh, movement speed increase. Uh, here I noticed that Ash is dodging a lot. She's very focused on dodging like crazy. Um, so I start to auto a lot. You'll see that uh, I stack my support item real fast. Uh, I'm max I'm, like my goal here is not to deal damage. Uh, is actually just to maximize my support item. Here I just got 60 gold. And it was a better trade for me than it was for, for her. Even though she has heal, so that's something you gotta take into consideration. Um, she did not stack her, she did not get the stacks from her support item. If you look uh, on the top left, you'll see she still has two. She only got one stack off of me. Um, so one of the things I'll do a lot in this lane, um, differently from uh, most of my matchups, is I'll auto attack a lot, both of them, because I noticed that they're very focused in the, on dodging my E. Uh, so. Now, for example, I see that Ash is trying to go in on Ezreal. So I'm trying to punish her as ma as max as I can uh, without getting without getting engaged on. Here, I ignite her so she uh, stops going for Ezreal. Uh, she got rooted in the, in the middle of the minion wave, so very bad for her. Uh, that time, I, I fucked up, but I knew Yi could catch her, so I left the Ash, to, Ash to Yi. Um, he ended up not even hitting her. I actually did not remember that. But I actually saw that he was coming, so I was like, okay, I'll, I'll leave Ash to him. Uh, I could have flashed Q instead of flash auto. Maybe that would have killed her, but I'm not, I don't think that's the case. Um, now I'm going base because I have a thousand gold. Um, but Ezreal decides to stay and, and greed for the plating. So I'm like, okay, if you want to greed for the plating, I'm going to greed for my support item. So I hit it three times just to get the 60 gold because. I'm a bit safe with him, uh, and I go back. Uh, you see that I switched to Yi before recalling. Uh, it kind of lagged out my, my transformation. That was weird. Uh, but the reason I do that is because Yi has one of the highest base movement speed in the game. Uh, here I wait a little bit of gold for my pink. I hate that when you click upwards, it sends you leftwards. I'll never get over that. Um, but I'll start moving as Master Yi uh, because it grants me a bit more movement speed. I don't... I don't... Recall, I don't... Not sure how much movement speed it grants me uh, overall, like um, throughout the levels and different boots. But I, I remember that after he got his boots, it increased my movement speed by eight. Um, so it's still a movement speed increase. Here I wasn't able to to uh, go in on her. I was actually going way more aggressive, but the minion spotted me and she started playing safe. I thought she was going to uh, actually try to one v one Yasuo. 
which wouldn't be a good idea so in retrospect i i shouldn't have went for that uh here i try to hex flash to um, root nami and it worked i get my 60 gold we trade badly against them unfortunately this is the moment i realized that something is off um i usually uh notice that with Ezreal's and Tristana's, uh, their damage seemed to vary a lot. I, I don't actually know why, but sometimes I play with with Ezreal's and their damage is very high. Like, they deal a lot of damage is, is scary. And sometimes the same thing happens with Tristana. Like, sometimes they deal no damage. Uh, with this Ezreal, I think the problem is he was rushing Phage instead of rushing... Um, he rushed Tear Phage, if I, if I recall correctly. Instead of rushing... Sheen, which is a great power spike. So maybe it is uh, uh, something about itemization. Uh, but I'm not sure yet what divides them. Uh, I decide to max my Q. Normally when I'm playing CC bot Nico, I do not max my Q. I prefer to do that when I'm playing uh, Electrocute Nico. Uh, but the reason I do that is, as I was explaining, uh, because Ezreal does not seem to have a lot of damage. So I'm hoping that I can compensate for his damage, not to mention all of my team is AD. Um, so with those two thing in, th things in mind, I decide to max you with CC Bot Nico, which is a bit odd, but it ends up working really well. Um, like one thing I did not take into account, and I definitely will for next for other matchups, is that playing CC Bot Nico against an Enchanter feels kind of bad. Uh, because one of the things you can do against an enchanter that really uh, really surprises them and and, and uh, f's them up <laughs> is that you can burst them down, right? If you have like if you're facing a Soraka, a Lulu, a Nami, um, you or a, a Sona, you can usually you, you can easily burst them down. But if you go CC bot Nico, you can't. Because you only have one person on the on the team dealing damage. Here, uh, Nami is actually playing wrong, and this is really good for me. I'm able to farm a lot just pretending that I'm gonna go for her. Like there, here, I'll pretend that I'll go for her, and she backs. See, because she's scared of me, but she shouldn't be because she has a support item and she has healing, which means that she can, um, which means that she can heal the damage I do, and she'll get gold from it. Since I have no ally near me. Uh, there's no way for me to get gold. I didn't notice, but I think Ezreal was AFK because he was based for a long time. But, um, so, keep the tip. If if you, uh, the enemy support does not have someone... Oh, here I almost uh, kill all the minions, but I missed the last two. That was my bad. I should have autoed that one instead of queuing it, and I should have autoed it before. And then I should have uh, auto queued that one. Um, but if you're facing a support and they're alone, um, don't be afraid to trade in on them, especially if you are a support and you're not alone, because you will get gold from it, they won't. Uh, this time I actually <laughs> managed to, uh, to, ah, fool Diego into trading with me. So now I'm trying to bait Diego into overextending. I throw my... Uh, on the wrong side, I should have thrown it uh, leftwards, I threw it rightwards because I thought he was going to dodge aggressively to dive me, but he didn't uh, the thing is, I didn't know if he had flash yet, here I ult to grab um, Diego, but they had vision on that push, so that was my bad like there, uh, if they didn't have vision, that would be a very good ult I'd probably be able to stop all three of them and help Ezreal uh, safely escape but since they had vision, I had to burn my flash to escape, which is pretty bad. Here I, like, I, I, attempt, I play with the idea, wow, it's getting really dark here. I'm sorry, the, it wasn't this dark. Let me try to bump up the ISO. Oh, I have to open my camera. Open my camera. And now I can pump up the ISO a little bit. It got really dark because there's a storm coming, so the winter's coming. Um, at least it's not as hot this time. <laughs> uh, what, what, what was I saying? Oh, yes, I was talking about the, the temptation. So I was thinking about buying uh, HP and Ability Haste. Normally, when I would uh, play CC Bot Nico, I would go for that. 
uh, uh, HP and ability haste because the focus of the build is to stop people from uh, fighting is not to burst people down but, but as I said many many t oh this this is really bad but it ends up kind of working out but if I had if I had uh, anticipated her dodge upwards I could have killed her traded one for one support for ADC would be perfect but I missed that so no excuses there um, so I'm actually focusing damage this time because I think we're lacking a lot of damage bot lane and this is worrying me so let's see if this compensates um, in retrospect if you're playing against an enchanter just take this if you're playing against an enchanter go electrocute or a king comet maybe but probably electrocute is best uh, Nico has a surprising burst uh, and this is the main reason why I think CC bot Nico is good is because Nico has a great burst, um, but it's unreliable. It's very unreliable, especially because of her short range. Here, here I start to channel my hack flash because I want to go in, um, but I end up missing my skills. She dodged, and I do not predict that. Here I end up uh, hitting my stun, but it's too late, and I ah, I just get caught off by Viego. E started channeling uh, he, uh, Harold, I didn't notice, um, but it's cool, yeah, we, we try those, we fail those, there, all, there, there was a lot of learning there, uh, I could have pinged before hex flashing, because I think my team, uh, like, took a while uh, to understand that I was trying to go in, I think they didn't notice, here I, I'm, I'm complaining about that bug, that if you click over there, you go left, but you shouldn't go left because uh, you're clicking upwards but whatever uh, and that ends up uh, stopping me from uh, undoing my purchase on ruby crystal I wanted to buy an, ampl an amplifying tome here again I th this time I tried to predict her dodge but she doesn't this is one of the things I find really hard of playing uh, uh, against lower elo is their dodge is very inconsistent their, uh, sorry their reflexes are very inconsistent so the first time I hex flash, I hex flash and I instantly eat on Kiana. And uh, one second, I'm gonna have to close the windows because it's raining on me. My God, uh, so dark. So it's very inconsistent. Inconsistent. Let's see if this helps a little bit. A bit more. Uh, so. When I first uh, find Kiana, I focus on her, like straight on her, I am on her, and with fast reflexes, she dodges left. Okay, second time I face her, I think, okay, her reflexes are good, so I'm gonna throw at the best spot she can dodge to. And she doesn't, like, I don't know, she's watching somewhere else, if, if she's just focused on the tower, uh, she cast her camera locked and didn't see because I was far... Uh, but those things happen a lot at lower elos and this is one of the reasons I, I think I excel at higher elos and I prefer playing at higher elos is that uh, people are more consistent with their dodges like if someone dodges, they dodge if someone doesn't, they doesn't, you know like Ash for example Ash seems to, to be uh, at a, uh, of a decent elo like her dodges are oh this, this sucks, yeah I got double ulted, Ezreal could have saved me if he had Eid um, downwards towards the arrow, he could have saved me. Uh, but it wasn't the case. It's okay. Uh, we, we take those as a learning experience. Uh, another thing is Ezra has been playing very, very safe. And that uh, puts all the weight of um, poking and trying to, to win the lane on me. So um, I'm trying to take the pressure off. And it's really hard to do that alone. So... The, the optimal is try to talk to your ADC so you can try to uh, control the way the, the pressure of the lane together. But most people tilt when you try to tell them that because um, they think you're telling them that you don't, they don't know how to play, but it's not that. It's, I want to dispute pressure, help me. Um, here I decide that Ash has been al alive for too long, so I kill her. This is what CC bot Nico can do. If you notice, Ezreal uh, was autoing the creeps. And even though he was autoing the creeps, 
uh, we kill her. So now I was just this time I was just worried uh, about stacking my my support item. I threw my Q at the end because I knew she would probably have range to hit me. So at least I could trade a little bit better if I'm going to give a little go to her. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm I'm very focused on this game. Uh, uh, I'm very focused on trying to get gold this game. Like this is my my main objective. Because if I can get a little bit of gold advantage advantage on them, and I don't know if you noticed, but I already have my support item fully stacked. Um, um, if, if I can get good gold advantage on, advantages on them, so I stack my support item early assists, I can start bursting people down like I did with Ash, but alone. Like, I couldn't do what I did to Ash if I was alone. Even though Ezreal hit a couple of minions, he still dealt, he, he's still dealing a little bit of damage, like enough to, to help. Here, I, I try to just focus Viego down. I cancel an auto, which is really bad. I didn't want to ult and I didn't want to engage because I wanted to give the kills to Yasuo. But since he was having a hard time and he went, uh, I think he focused Chen at the start. Um, I had to go in and ult, which is pretty bad for me. Uh, here I throw my W just to try to uh, make it so Kiana gets distracted. I was scared that she might flash EQ ult on me, so that's why I... I was um, running straight to the tower like crazy. Uh, even though that's happening, I still want to bait her in because I know that if I land my E, I can kill her under tower. Uh, Kiana depends on her mobility, like to be close to people and to kill people uh, and to position herself well to ult and other things. Uh, here, I, I actually was lucky. I think if, if there was a ward and the, there in that um, intersection and I went in there toward um, Kiana would probably burst me down so Ezra actually had a lot of time to to see her and to retreat um, he didn't which is bad but it, it happens but at the same time it was kind of lucky for me because um, if she took a little bit longer to go there or if I um, went a little bit faster downwards uh, probably be be dead and I'd give a shutdown so we don't want that um, here I'm pondering if it's worth it for me to go Morellos because they do have a, an Ash with if I'm not mistaken Ash went shoot bow uh, and they have an Ami and they have a Viego and they're all characters that rely a lot on healing uh, at the same time I am an engager I want to do CC bot so here I spend a lot of time trying to undo and buy the right items Yes, you can judge me, but it's very important afterwards. You notice that um, this Zonia's uh, will make a lot of difference. If I had gone for Horizon Focus, uh, I wouldn't have killed more people than I did, but I would die a lot more and like a lot faster, and it would stop me from uh, it would stop me from getting a lot of good engages. Uh, another thing you'll notice here is I get uh, reduced gold because I've been farming too much with my support item. Uh, you can actually farm, I think it's... Um, I mean, it's, no, it's 20 minions uh, in a span of 5 minutes. So if in the span of 5 minutes I farm, I farm more than 20 minions, I start getting reduced gold. Um... Here, I, here I'm trying to to uh, poke Shen down, so if he ends up ulting somewhere, I can uh, he goes uh, low on HP. But I just accepted that the dragon uh, was a troll, that I couldn't help my team over there. Uh, I started to rain inside and on my desk. Ah, rain is very hard, very strong. Sorry. Um, so here I'm trying to control vision. One thing that's very important uh, to notice is I use my W a lot. It is a very powerful skill on Nico. It grants you vision because you can use it to check bushes. It grants you movement speed. Um, and if I turn into someone else, for example, let me see, say, let's say I turn into Master Yi, I get eight bonus movement speed, and then my W gets twenty percent uh, bonus movement speed on top of that. So I easily go to like. Uh, 420, let me see, 20%. Um, that's 20 every 100, so that's 80 movement speed. 
uh, I have celerity, but there's also the movement speed cap. So that goes up to about uh, here. We, we get really baited. So I, I, I was with the finger on my flash, but since Shen missed that, it's okay. And here I do not get enough reflexes to flash Shen's flash E. That was my bad. I definitely could have escaped that. At the same time, I don't know if it's worth it for me to flash away since I have such good engages with my flash. Um, uh, so as, as I was saying, I don't know if you know, but that is um, there's a soft cap on movement speed. After you pass a certain threshold, I think it's after 400 or 405, something like that, movement speed. Every movement speed you get is reduced, I think, by 80%. And then after 600, it is reduced by 50% or something like that. Sorry, not 80%, like 20% or 50% and then 80%, or 50%, something like that. Um, but what happens is too much movement speed starts being bad. So uh, another tip that goes well with that is if you have, if someone has mobility, for example, if you have mobility uh, and someone else also does, it might not be worth it for you to switch into that other person because of the movement speed cap here i try to lock a queen uh, kiana in place so yasuo can uh, get her but i didn't manage to i didn't hit my everfrost i just stick around to see if yasuo needs help against her i can burst people pretty fast with my cool combo um so as i was saying if you have mobility on uh it might be better to just um switch into someone that uh baits them or not even switch at all uh, in the case of movement speed boosts uh, another thing you can do with nico this game i didn't do it uh because i really wanted the in combat movement speed to dodge uh ash and nami's skills not to mention kiana's um but you can actually delay your boots like a lot uh, because you can still still you can use your allies movement speed so these are like the the hottest tips the tips and tricks to main nico the, my team's trying to surrender and this is a a very common case in preseason people try, try to surrender too early like too easily this game is, is on the bag like it's ours there's no reason to surrender i'm like come on team trust me we can win this i've seen it uh, here I scare Nami into ulting the wrong direction, so Cyan gets a free ult on her. I thought Viego was coming for me, that's why I ever frosted there, but I'm just trying to chip them down. I know Viego is coming for me, so here I bait him into tower with uh, hourglass, and, hourglass and ult. At that time I knew uh, Ash was aiming her ult at me because I didn't see her ult throughout the team fight. But uh, I couldn't have known that Yasuo was going to have the reflexes to use that W. If he had used that before, um, then I wouldn't have flashed. But um, here I used the, the, the W to get a bit more movement speed. Uh, I think I made a mistake. I made two mistakes here. I used my Everfrost at the wrong direction. Uh, and I switched to Ezro instead of switching to... Um, what's his face? Master Yi. Um, but it's okay, it worked out in the end. We end up killing them. But maybe Yasuo, I think we, we would have killed Ash and Yasuo would be alive. We wouldn't have killed Kiana if I had turned into Yi to get bonus movement speed. And if I had hold my E for a little bit longer, I was a bit un impatient, impatient, impatient uh, using my E there. Because um, he zigzagged, she, like Ash zigzagged a little bit. Um, here I try to one-shot Nami, unfortunately her healing is too much and I do not have healing reduction. And uh, Viego comes. Uh, here is another mistake I made. I used my W to run away because I thought because his W has a short range I would be able to outrange it. But something more guaranteed that I could have done is I could have W towards him and run away from him. Ran away from him. Uh, my my uh, fear was that my clone would probably go downwards instead of diagonally even if i hit him guy diagonally because it kind of bounces off of walls uh so i was scared that even if i did that it wouldn't be in front of his stun unless i ho held it and if i held it i was scared that he would be able to catch me 
uh, with his uh, Q or auto and slow me or something. So I tried to outrange and it failed. Ezreal tried to 1v1 Nico. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm giving a tip to Sion to build a Serpent's Fang because they have a lot of shields and I saw he was doing lethality. Um, here it's very sad but at least it, it wasted uh, Shen's ultimate and all my teams start suiciding so you know what time it is time to 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 um, ah! yes try, try time to start a surrender vote so my team tried to surrender again and i'm like no we can win this and luckily someone else starts believing in our potential i hope it's he because he has a great late game here he wards i didn't want him to war there i was hoping uh, Viego would come for me before Shen because I wanted to get Shen. Uh, th there it was a mistake of, uh, by my part. Uh, I was trying to uh, ever frost. I was trying to ever frost uh, Viego as his W came off, but he held he, he held it a little bit more than I expected. So that was my bad. I was impatient again. Uh, luckily they turned in on us and they um, they underestimate my damage so we end up getting an ace we killed both of them uh one thing that is uh, that i was thinking and i forgot to say is uh, as soon as i i got to base with a flash on ash zolt i got gold for zonias that made me so happy like yes yeah, just the time I, I i love to to base with the right amount of money i think it's it's those little things that makes us stay uh playing league of legends you know it's not like if you play for the victory or if you play to carry, uh, you have to play on a lower elo because if you play against people that are as good as you are, you can't do that every game. So you have to focus on the little things, on things that make you smile, you know? Like here I see Ash uh, running away from Sion and it's my bad if I had been a little bit faster with my, my, my readings with where she would go, here I could have uh, went all the way back and killed her from fog. It was my bad. Ash was a free free kill. It, yeah, uh, I, I'll learn with that. Um, here I know my trinket will last, so I start looking at that bush and I see Kiana coming at me and burst her down. I could not believe that Nico's support is able to like burst an assassin down. That was amazing. That was impressive. I was I wasn't even building damage. I wasn't fed, so. That was one of the, the, the highlights of the, the video. Um, I, now I, I decide to buy the the healing reduction item because I realized that no one else on the team is going to. Uh, and even though I am dealing a surprising amount of damage, I'm not dealing damage enough to burst people. I start pinging Baron because I think they are on it. Uh, so my team luckily uh, listens to the call and, and goes in. Uh, I see them trying to burst our carries, but they end up being bursted because we have a lot of CC with uh, Science Q and Yasuo's ult. Uh, here I flash to get uh, Nami, but she flashes away. My E is a very, uh, is a very slow um, skill. I'm Here I'm baiting. I'm trying to bait them into overextending for me and dying. Uh, it, end up, it ends up not working that well. Uh, we get Baron still, and we end up killing Kiana. Oh, and Sion gets Nami, I forgot about that. Does he get uh, Ash if he does? Yes, then, then it, was, it was definitely worth it. I, I managed to, to waste a lot of their cooldowns and take a lot, chip a lot of their health uh, down. Uh, so I start pinging them to go Dragon, because I think we gotta focus on objectives if, if we want to guarantee our late game. Because we lost early game, but we're starting to get the lead back. So we cannot stop getting small little advantages everywhere. Because they can still beat us in team fights. So if we get like, I don't know, a little bit more ability haste. A little bit more pushing power. A little bit more global gold. Like these are the kind of things that will allow us to, to stay in the game. And to stop our team from surrendering. <laughs> which is even more important. Uh, one thing I noticed here that makes me, I, I think, I think I, I don't know if I noticed now or if I take a while to notice, but they actually fixed Vigilant Warzone. It used to, like, uh, here, here, I think I noticed. 
I'm gonna try to ping somewhere and I notice. But uh, they fix it. It used to like uh, it used to increase your maximum ward count, like how much wards you could place, but it didn't show that it would increase. So now what you can do is you can um, when you as you're placing the wards, you can see like four out of four or uh, zero out of two based on how many wards you got. It used to show like four out of three or two out of one as if you were like breaking the cap of how much you can ward which was terrible um here i start to to play with the around the play with the idea of bursting them down but i was very bad at reading ash's movement there it was totally my bad uh see here i try to dodge and i joke it too late um so one of the things i i haven't uh got the feeling yet of what's better is between everfrost and my e uh, my E comes off instantly, so depending on how close I am to them, it's better to... See, I EQ Ash and I almost kill her. Um, but depending on how close you are to your target, it's better to E rather than Everfrost. Because Everfrost has a higher initial casting time. Um, but... Your E is lower. So if someone's like... Uh, away from you, Everfrost is better because your E takes a long time to 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 move to travel, like the missile this, the missile speed. Um, but if someone's close to you, it's better to use your E because the cast time is shorter. So this is one thing that was so close she dodged it. Uh, but this is one thing I'm trying to get uh, used to and I'm trying to get a hold of is when to use which. I think at that time the distance that Ash was, it was better to use Everfrost. But I tried to use Alt E. Uh, that was definitely bad. Here I was pondering if it was worth it to go for this this pink, but I decided to go with it. I decided we could destroy it because I saw Shen top and I saw Kiana retreat. Um, so I didn't think uh, the rest of them posed enough of a threat. Now I'm, I'm asking them to help me clear the wards and they're not, but it's okay. I... I can keep my distance and I can play the vision game well enough to not be surprised by anyone. I know they don't have a ward here, so I start to wait patiently for a good engage on them. Uh, preferably I want to engage on Ash, but if I can engage on uh, Viego and Nami as well. Uh, here I hit my full combo on Ash and I managed to zone us. She flashes just in time, but the thing is, if, she's, she, if they're gonna waste all those resources on me, it's cool, because I'm the support, so now comes the carries, and they don't have flash, they don't have uh, heal, they don't have a lot of things, and they lose. So that's the team fight that wins this, the game. That was that was a, a, a great experience. I, I think playing Nico is very fun, and it, and it has a lot of uh, small mini games, a lot of extra things you have to think about, like whether to use E or Everfrost, uh, when it's when to old like when to old with her is not that easy. It's very hard um, The surprising amount of burst that she gains um, uh, In a few of her levels not all of her levels um, And her W and passive like all of those together It makes it so playing with her feels a lot different than most of the other characters. So it's a lot uh, enjoyable I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did playing. I hope you leave a like, comment, subscribe, and whatever rocks your boat. And I hope I can see you next time. Bye-bye.